Hi everyone and welcome to another Flutter application development tutorial. Guys, in this tutorial we will be talking about stateless and stateful widget. First, uh, I will show you a little theory about these two widgets. So as you can see here on the screen, we have a stateless widget and we have a stateful widget. So um, the difference between is the stateless widget is static widget and the stateful widget is a dynamic widget. Okay, so as you can see here, um, the name defines itself a static which means that uh, we cannot change this uh, state the state of this widget and the dynamic widget means that we we can change the state and we can redraw this widget as an example as you can see here in the stateless widget we have uh, icons uh, icon buttons and text okay so if you add an icon in your application so you cannot change that icon uh, state or you cannot change uh, you cannot redraw that icon or that icon button and the other hand if you are using stateful widgets so if you have a radio button or checkbox or text field so in the checkbox uh, the checkbox will be uh, checked or unchecked and in the radio button case uh, you will have to choose uh, one uh, option in radio button so if you choose the first one and uh, the, then you think that no the, the second option is correct so you choose the second option so you are changing the state of that widget okay so in simple words stateless widget is uh, a widget which cannot be uh, cannot be changed or redrawn and the stateful widget is a widget we uh, which we uh, in which uh, we can change the state and we can redraw it so uh, i will uh, explain it through a code so open up your android studio and create a new flutter project and first we will start from stateless widget okay so to create a stateless widget in your uh, Flutter application, you simply type STL, STLE, double S, and hit enter. So it will create a stateless widget class. So I will name it uh, uh, my app, okay, and I will hit enter. And as you can see here, we have a uh, empty container here. And as you can see, uh, this class is extending stateless widget uh, class, okay. So uh, here we need to create a material app return a material app i will just uh, design it then i will explain it okay Okay guys, uh, as you can see here we have run our application and here is our UI, we have a floating uh, action button and we have a text widget here in the center of our application. Now I will uh, create a variable here uh, where count is equal to zero, okay and uh, I need to add this variable here, okay count okay if i save it so as you can see here we have a count is equal to zero we are uh, concatenating our variable here okay now uh, if you want to if you want to user uh, click on this add button and it uh, it increment this value so uh, if we can add it here like this count is equal to count plus one and uh, we hard reload our application okay and if we click on this button so it doesn't it doesn't work because we are using a stateless widget so we cannot uh, change the state of this text view or uh, state of this variable okay so if you want to perform uh, some action like this so you need to use stateful widget for this kind of work okay so uh, i will just simply uh, copy this or cut this code of this material app okay and now we will use the stateful widget okay to use the stateful widget just simply st f u l and hit enter and the flutter code will generate the stateful widget code and you just need to name your class okay so now as you can see here we have we are extending a stateful widget class here uh, with our class my app okay and here uh, in this 
in this curly braces you can see here we have an override method create state and we are passing the uh, name of our state my app state okay this is uh, uh, our class name and this is the state and below here uh, this is our class uh, my app state extends state and we are passing my app here in this uh, greater than and less than uh, signs okay so now i will just simply paste uh, my code here of our design and as you can see here we have an error so don't worry about it we will just simply call it count is equal to zero and now the error is gone so if you run this application let me uh, close it i will run it again okay our application is ready and now as you can see here in our code we are using stateful widget so now if we click on this air button so we need uh, the app should be incrementing this count and now if we click on this button so you must be thinking that we are using stateful widget and the stateful widget means that you can change the state of any widget and it doesn't changing uh, at any cost okay so here uh, let me tell you tell you one thing for changing the state in your stateful widget we need to add a set state method here okay so you just simply uh, type set state and inside this set state we will uh, increment our count here okay so if i paste it here and i hold uh, restart my app and as you can see here uh, we have uh, changed the count to from 0 to 5 is uh, before this we hit this button 5 time okay so now if I hit this again so it will uh, increment by 1 okay 7 8 9 10 okay so that's how we can change the state of any widget in our uh, stateful widget and now if uh, you must be thinking that if we if we use this set state in our stateless widget so uh, let me just uh, remove this code I will just simply reverse it and as you can see here now we are in our stateless widget and here i need to call the set state and as you can see here we don't have any set state method here okay so we cannot use the set state set state method in our stateless widget okay so we only use it in our stateful widget okay so that's it for this video guys and uh, if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so please subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button.